Hello everybody, my name is Maria Shiweda. I am Maria the Prophet. Today I would like to talk about the prophets of the synagogue church of all nations. The ones that have been there until June 5th. The new generation, the new prophets, the new prophetesses. Um, those are the ones that I would like to talk about today. By their names, I'm talking about Racine, I'm talking about Chris, I'm talking about Anne, I'm talking about Angela, and I'm talking about Yinka. So the first thing that I would like to talk about this or to say about them, I would like to say thank you to them. I would like to say thank you to them for praying for me. Those are the people that contributed to me being alive today to be able to share this story with you, to even be able to mention their names. They were a great contribution to my living. There are a lot of evangelists in the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the past and the current that have uh, prayed for me. I, I thank them. Uh, you just have not any idea. But today, let me talk about the prophetess uh, and the prophets. So these, the first thing I would like to remind you is that these were the people who were with the prophet come June 5th. But also, these were the people, these are the actual testimony of Prophet T.B. Joshua's prayer to God. He asked for people to be like him and he was given them to train. They trained hands on with him on site. That's one thing the world needs to remember. Number two, these people are endowed with power, anointing. To be able to go and fight in the world, not by Prophet T.B. Joshua's side, but they can go anywhere in the world and they can fight for the kingdom of God. And another thing the world needs to remember is these people were just regular evangelists but as regular evangelists as, a, as let me put it this way as a regular evangelist or worker in the synagogue church of all nations there's that anointing that falls on you like um your bare minimum your bare default uh of coverage is is is, is higher than most of the prophets and pastors that I came to see in this journey of six years. Just a regular worker is covered. And I'm talking about coverage you have never seen before. So, and now talk about the evangelists, the people who are praying for people on those prayer lines. And then comes to the prophets and prophetesses themselves. Those people have power, uh, they have anointing. That, that, that's the best I can put it. They are entities. They are generals of God. Their names are not on the table of God. Their names are not, um, their names are tagged with that general tag so world the best that the world can do is to tap in their anointing that anointing is not going anywhere and there's immunity there's nothing you can do to take it out or away or to dilute it it's immune completely immune to anything out there. Uh, this time God has done it better. <laughs> so, 
So, but that, that, those are a few things I would like to raise uh, to the world because I am talking about what is in the spirit behind the scenes, it, but in the spirit. Behind the scenes, in the spirit. Those are the events I'm talking about. And the other thing I would like to tell you is by 2017, I have watched Yinka. I, I just happened to call and she picked up the phone. The fire that went through my feet, I was, I was at the bus stop uh, just waiting for, for a ride to go home. And I happened to call because it was a new place and the attacks were just left and right. And uh, I got picked up. I had fire in my feet for the longest, the whole night. On the road, in my room, the whole night. And uh, I, the, 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 the only other time I came to see, but I didn't get to watch now the service, is that Easter service. I came to see that she was the one who did the service of that Easter. Uh, she was the one who did the sermon. I still had to, I'm yet to watch that sermon though, but that little part that they had at the end of, uh, of the choir um, clip, that's the one I'm talking about. That woman is anointed. Those women that you see there that were touching, um, praying for people on the screens and people get healed and their problems are getting solved. The best you can do is to be closer. It's not something you can really explain or break down. That, that whole thing is over. If you hear me talking here, I don't have a church. But I'm, the, I'm talking about behind the scenes in the spirit. I don't have a church anywhere. I'm brand new, like brand, brand new. Just out of the making, just out of the molding. Uh, process. So now imagine that. I have seen these people, like their prayers, how they worked. I have seen them graduating, like uh, here I mean when they first got anointed, each one of them, except um, Angela, I only came to see the last two, but the others I have seen. Uh, Chris was the first one. <laughs> Uh, that I have seen and then uh, but Chris and Racine those people they had put up a wall with who I don't I only want to mention their names in this uh, in this video please it's for this this the the prophets and the prophetesses of the synagogue church of all nations I have seen those prophets fighting this is now before they were prophets Racine was already a wise man, but Chris was just a regular uh, evangelist, and Yinka was just a regular person too. But their prayers, the kind of prayers that they get, like what I got to see when they pray. <laughs> I've seen entities coming out of me like this, just prayer. <laughs> you, you cannot understand. So Chris and Racine, uh, the, the year I can remember very well and I can never forget is the year 2016. That was the year about Chris and Racine. <laughs> oh. And uh, yeah, so it, it, it's, um, those are entities. They are generals. There is no way around it. There is no undoing of anything. The only best thing we can do is you go and tap into their anointing or you pray with them, let them pray for you or um, connect with whatever message they are putting out there. They are pretty synced with the spirit of prophet, prophet T.B. Joshua. And uh, this was the test. It was an exercise. If anybody can remember the... In May, when Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for the eyes of the viewers to open, their ears to open, their, their spiritual mind to open, to, to remove the grip 
from um, their visions and dreams. Yes, that prayer. I didn't get to watch that prayer live. I didn't get to watch that Emmanuel TV Partners Meeting live. I didn't get to watch that. Instead, I was watching the sermons by Racine, by Chris, by Yinka, by Angela, by Anne. And that night, all that the prophet said, it, it all happened to me. Matter of fact, I saved my relations uh, uh, life. I was in the spirit. I was in the dark realm. I had to fight. I had to fight people. To the, I had to tell these people, I know that person very well. And I told them, this is how well I know her. I, I can smell her from this distance where I am. And I'm in, in the United States of America. I said I can smell her scent from here all the way to Africa. That's how well I knew her. I was in the realm fighting. And imagine this. I did not watch the clip with the man of God that he prayed for us. So I had... Uh, after then, when I watched the... The clip, the next day, that's when I realized what happened. He was busy praying, and I was busy going on with my stuff. But this is now when you have to be in sync with the prophet. And in sync, for me, this has started way long. Um, uh, and, and, and maybe to just put things in perspective here. If anybody remembers in 20, uh, <clears throat> in 20, um, it wasn't 2018, it was 2019, sometime in 2019, you should be able to see a clip that says, uh, it's, it's, oh, the, the channel was taken down, So, but it's on Facebook, I think they posted it, on, it was on Facebook or Instagram, uh, it, it, what's the channel? Instagram um, or Twitter, one or one of those. That's where it was posted. So it says, And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies for like probably a month. That was, those were the words that were running through my mind, in the spirit, in the natural, out of my mouth. And that Sunday came like that. But before that, I have noticed also other Sundays, like whatever I have been like, Praying, like, not really praying, it's, it's just something that runs through my mind. I'll be, because when I read the Bible, I'll, I read, like, one thing for the whole, for a very long time. I could read just one sentence or just one um, one page, one, one book. Yeah, I can read just one book for the whole month or six months, like that. But because my head was being flushed out a lot, Every time I read it, 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 it's like new. It's like I'm reading and those, my reading is being taken somewhere and then I have to start over again. That's how it was. And the prayers of these prophets and prophets, those are the prayers that kept making me be able to read courage because this, it, it doesn't make sense in the natural. I mean, even if you're in school, you don't read like for one chapter for even two days or a week but I had to do that for months it, it became normal to me like that but their prayers every single time they pray for me people heaven opens because most of the time the people when they prayed for me like the regular evangelists when they prayed for me it was just for me it was for me to get that information because most of, most of my war was about information they don't want me to see the information what they are doing so the majority of the time when i got prayer it was for me to see i just get to see who is fighting me now and why they they're fighting me what what do they want but for these prophets i get to see something coming out something crawling away something I get to see a lot of things. I get to see light. I get to see a lot of things like that. So these are not, these are entities. I just don't have a, a good word for them. 
um, for the world to really understand who these people are. No matter, you, even if they did something wrong to you in the natural, find somewhere in your heart to get the courage and humility to go tap into their anointing. Connect to their anointing. That is my word. Connect. Because that's all I had to do. I didn't need to be delivered. My body was a training tool. I simply had to accept that fact. So that's what the, that's the fact that put me through. They prayed for me. I don't care about the attack because I get to see my treats where I get to see this, I get to see that, I get to know this. These are things that pastors could pray for years and they don't even get to see. And I get to see them just like that. So attacks were there, are painful, yeah, but <laughs> the, 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 those treats, you, you wouldn't wanna, you wouldn't even wanna miss one attack. Because what I got to see, people, what I got to see is, um, I don't know how to say it. Just for me to be able to sit here and speak like this, you can probably see the joy in, <laughs> on my face. It, 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 it's, that, it's that joy that I used to get. I still get it. When uh, I get to see the treat, like this the reason why I was fighting in the first place. And then I get to see, I, I just call them treats. Because I was not expecting them, you know? I was not expecting them. Like, all I do is, like, I'm going through an attack. I call for prayer or sing or read the Bible. Play. The, I really did the audio because playing the Bible, like, reading the Bible, there came a time when they, my, my eyes would be shut, closed. The Bible is open. I can, like, I would start reading like this. And... <laughs> Everything is dark. I cannot see anymore. So I got, I had to use the audio. I used the audio most, but now I do use, I, I do read my, the, the book itself, the physical book. But uh, that journey, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know I could, um, I could smile like this at all. I am so happy that those prophets and prophetesses, they honored the anointing of Prophet T.B. Joshua. They honored the anointing and they actually, like, they want to serve God like that because what they did, I, I cannot explain. Wanting to be something is one thing, but to become it is another thing but to become it because you believed in someone else's anointing that's a whole other chapter that's wow so the the, the best thing that i can say to you is tap in that anointing whether you are just a regular person whether you are already a prophet or a prophetess people Tap in their anointing. And this is the reason why I am saying that. The gap between where the level of anointing of those prophets and prophetesses and the next best out there in the world, the gap is so wide that the next best person doesn't even make it to the radar. That is what I mean. So when I say tap in their anointing, you'll be glad you did. That, that, it, 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 there's, there's no other way around. Tap in their anointing. You will be glad that you did. And it also honors God. Trust me, it does. I wouldn't be speaking to you now. Like, I don't even know how I came to be alive. For me, I didn't expect to pass 2015. <laughs> it, it happened like a, in a split second. I found Emmanuel TV and that's how I came to be alive today and be able to speak about this. So the other thing I would like to talk to you about, it's after June, um, June 5th. These people... 
were still praying for me. They started praying for me in May, that day when I watched them, right there, before I went into the room, before I like slept off and then I uh, went into the room, started fighting. At that time, they were, they were like, all of them praying for me at the same time, and there were also other evangelists that time. But this time, after June, July, August, they were just individuals. I would watch them individuals, just like that. And they are all in the same sink. They, 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 they are in the same sink. They are just the same as they have been before June 5th. Their, their anointing is synced with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Matter of fact, the words that I heard from them, people, I don't think, I, I don't know if I have any other words to say. Tap in their anointing. That's the best thing you can do for yourself as a pastor or just a regular person or a prophet. <laughs> the gap. Okay, this is first-hand information I'm giving you here. I have watched these people being anointed the first time, the second time, and the third time, which was the last time. I know what has been deposited into them. I've seen that light myself. So this is what I'm talking about. So when I say I'm talking about behind the scenes, in the spirit that is what i mean i i am connected to them all the time anytime like uh, uh what's his name they just prayed for me like two three days ago here and i i didn't even have to watch them i don't have to um call for prayer and they pick up the phone no it, I, I have already been synced with them with their prayers i've been in agreement with their prayers these are people who have prayed for me to be alive i need you to remember that it's a territory you just don't touch that they will show up so i honor them i honor their anointing i honor the work they do for god i appreciate that above everything else nothing you can say can make me look at their anointing a, a different way because I have seen with my I have seen with my own eyes how they were anointed. I've seen the first time, I've seen the second time, I've seen the third time. Except Angela, I have only seen the last two. I haven't seen the first time for Angela. So these these are things. I don't I, I just don't know how to say it for someone to really understand what I'm saying here. But what I'm telling you is behind the scenes and I understand it's probably hard to understand. But um I don't know if this is something you get to see. If you get to see what I mean is like I don't know if you get to see it by prayer or by reading the Bible. That I don't know. Because me myself, I don't pray. I read the Bible and everything just happens automatically. Like I, there is that connection between me and the Bible that I, I don't know how to explain to another human being. I, I don't know because the majority of the time during this period, the Bible, I, I didn't have to read the Bible myself. Like if I, like I don't read it when I spend times and times upon times in the trances. A days at a time, the Bible will be read to me. When I call for prayers, the person will be busy praying, but I'll be busy listening to the Bible being read to me. Those chapters that I I read, like I read chapters like I read like one thing for like months, <laughs> and and it, I don't get tired of it either. I don't know how it worked. I just wasn't myself because. The normal Maria wouldn't do that. But well, that's how things went. So, yeah. So, the, their spirits are very much intact with the spirit of prophet T.B. Joshua. So, the best you can do 
really whether you are already a man of god a prophet tap in their anointing i cannot stress that enough they they are entities of god they are generals of god those people are highly anointed this is a different era i must stress that this is a different era this is an era where god is cleaning the earth the the <clears throat> what is in motion now is god cleaning the earth so like i said in my previous video the best is to make yourself as useful to god as possible like as you can that god does not or cannot afford to lose you and those are the exact words uh that were said like i was forced to really say that to record that video i just remember the day i recorded that video um please those those are the people that because of their anointing because of their loyalty to uh prophet tb joshua's anointing i am able to sit here and speak and you are able to hear stories as such as this one of mine my normal self would have not understood at all if it was another person telling me all this i would have used my own intelligence but um it it is life it happens to me live everything is live i don't have to be asleep <laughs> so uh, i just want you to and to tap in that in their anointing tap in that anointing tap 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 in their anointing because there are a lot of things you really have not seen and there are a lot of things i have not spoken here i i just think them so much for being royal to prophet tb joshua for being royal to his anointing for their work in the kingdom of god that thing is critical i'm looking at a person like me who has been even with all these revelations in my sleep and in my waking life <laughs> i was still running away from god this is a big adjustment that i had to i, I just had to surrender <laughs> and that's why i recorded that very first video about um god's judgment to humanity thank you again for watching uh, my name is maria shiwena i am maria the prophet i just wanted to say something about the prophets and the prophetesses of the synagogue church of all nations chris racine yinka and and angela uh god bless you god bless them and pray for them thanks everybody for watching